Hey everybody, this is Jim at Rainwater Equipment, and today we're going to install a Grunfoss SBA 345-A submersible on-demand pump in this 2,500-gallon poly tank from Polymark. So let's talk about the pump for a minute. This is a 110 volt SBA 345-A from Grunfoss. It's on demand, it's submersible. On the top, you'll see that the one inch MPT threaded discharge is where the water comes out. It also has a lifting eye on the top that you can run a rope through so you can lower it down into the tank. This pump comes with a float switch and the purpose of the float switch is to prevent dry run of the pump. So when the water level is up, the pump will run. When the water level drops and the float is in the down position, it will prevent the tank, excuse me, the pump from running. You can tether the float switch on the side of the pump and set it to different lengths depending on how you want it to behave. It has a really long cable, like I said, with a 110 plug that you can run it out through the top of the tank. Um, maybe put in a bulkhead fitting, a one inch bulkhead fitting from Banjo works really well because it's the perfect size for the end of the plug. Just run it out the top, connect it to a 110 outlet. Uh, the pump actually pulls the water in through this screen on the bottom and it sits in a vertical position just like this on the bottom of the tank. When the pump turns on, uh, it's because there has been a valve open somewhere that it's creating a demand for water and the pump will run until uh, the valve closes and pressure builds in the line. And once this uh, pressure reaches a certain point and the pump realizes it's no longer needing water, then it turns itself off, creating a on-demand effect. So the materials that you will need to accomplish this project are a couple of uh, one inch diameter, 10 foot sticks of Schedule 40 PVC pipe. And then we have some other items here. This is a uh, one inch slip on one side, male NPT uh, threads on the other. Um, you'll actually need three of those. You're going to need a one inch threaded union Schedule 40, a one inch adapter that is a slip on one side and um, MPT male threads on the other. And then this is a little trickier item to come by. This is a, uh, a one inch to two inch adapter. So the two inch male adapter has a one inch female uh, thread on the inside. So when you screw this into the bulkhead fitting on the inside of the water tank, then you will connect the um, elbow at the bottom and run pipe directly up. The reason we're going to do this is so that we can have the opportunity to pull the pump out of the tank if we need to service it without actually climbing into the tank. That's the purpose of the project. You'll also need a tape measure. So we've got two sticks of one inch pipe. Uh, we'll have to cut these so that the uh, pipe actually will reach the bottom bulkhead fitting on the inside of the tank and then there's a manway, a 16 inch manway at the top. So when we open the lid, we'll be able to reach in and have a quick disconnect here with this union to take the pump out of the tank. So we'll take our one inch to two inch adapter on the, we'll have to climb inside the tank to do this. And we'll actually screw that into the tank. If you can picture it on the side wall, we'll screw that in, but it'll be on the other side. And then on the inside of the tank, we're gonna connect this one inch elbow so it'll be on the inside of the tank like this then we'll connect the long piece of pipe which is slip to slip we'll have to glue this obviously you don't have to put pipe tape around the threads on the uh, fittings that go inside the tank only for fittings that are outside the tank so then we come up the side if you picture this you come up the inside of the tank sidewall all the way to about this area here and then we'll we'll do a 90 like this connect with our threaded union like this then we run our other 90 over so we will then attach to the other stick of the one inch pvc schedule 40 pvc pipe here and run down the inside of the tank. So we'll essentially have it two 
uh, pieces of pipe inside the tank. And this second piece will connect to the top of the uh, pump, the discharge. That's why you need your one inch threaded adapter, which will screw into the pump. And then your other piece of PVC will slip right in there and you'll glue that. Then when the time comes for you to take the pump out of the tank for whatever reason, you just unscrew your union and you don't have to get in the tank this way. So you just break it apart inside the manway and then pull the rope that's attached to the eye on the top of the pump and you can pull the entire uh, mechanism out of the tank and service it and return it as needed and then reconnect your union. So now I'm standing inside the tank and we have a bulkhead fitting attached to the inside of the tank here in a two inch to one inch fitting that allows us to connect to this elbow and then to this pipe that runs up to the manway. So this is where we'll uh, connect our union is up here at the top and then over and down into the pump in the bottom. So once you get it inside the tank, it will look something like this, where the pump is on one side and then the fitting on the sidewall is on the other and you've got two pipes that run up and then meet in the top here with a uh, one inch union. So that's it. So check us out at rainwaterequipment.com. We offer a complete line of large capacity water tanks up to 65,000 gallons and actually larger capacities in some cases, but we stock sizes up to 65,000 gallons. We have a complete line of poly tanks like you see behind me. Those range from 100 gallons, typically up to 5,000 gallons. We also offer all of the Grunfoss pumps that are available above ground and, and submersible. And um, we have the Viqua UV water systems that will treat rainwater and make it potable for drinking. So that's it. Check us out. Thanks for watching.